Division Three Southern Section Champion. And no on three, no on three. One, two, three. No. Here last year in the division. Richmond's all from Prep Cal Track at the 2018 CF Southern Section Division Two Championships. Coach Sean Brosnan from Newberry Park. Division Two supposed to be quite competitive. It is very strong yeah. teams. You guys blew the doors off the race, right. winning by 53 points, scored 51 points. Were you expecting something like this today? I, I, maybe people get mad if I say it, but yes. Really? Um, okay. If people could see these guys work out, if, if I was sharing that information, they'd be shocked. Um, if you, you know, I have a lot of friends that are college coaches, professional coaches. When I tell them what these guys are doing, they're shocked. Um, right. I still think we have a lot in the tank for the next two weeks coming up, but you know, our plan was to kill it. I mean, honestly, I told them, I said, run the first mile, you know, kill the second, and bury the last. I said, that, I mean, that's what we wanted to do. We didn't, we didn't want to do anything at mile one to see where everyone's at. I know the fitness that Nico's in. I didn't think he'd get a course record because I didn't think he was going to go out fast enough, but he was able to just sneak in there and get that, and uh, I'm proud of these guys, especially everything they've been through last week, so it was good. So very impressive. You guys do so well. You mentioned that you thought this could happen. Yeah. Uh, we're still two more weeks, hopefully. You know, yeah. We've got obviously State and hopefully yeah. NXN. Hopefully, yes. What's going to be the key to either keep it going or just, just you know, just to keep it going the right way? What's going to be the key, you think? Well, you know, I, I've, I've been telling other people, I'm very meticulous. I'm very uh, strict with my tapering, my peaking with these guys. Um, we just have some, we have work to do Monday, Tuesday, and, and uh, I think that's it. I think I, we want the confidence from that. You know, I, I was telling other people, we, uh, with all the fires and stuff, we were able to get out of town on Monday and get a solid workout in, and I think it kind of eased their mind a little bit. We had some good air to breathe because we had all the smoke back in uh, Thousand Oaks in the Newberry Park. Um, but I think the key is just keep the pro just keep the process going, believe in what they're doing. And they're already believers, honestly. Um, I couldn't ask for anything more. If I tell them to stand on their head, they'll stand on their head. If I tell them to run 20 miles, they'll run 20 miles. I'd never do that, but they, uh, they do what they're told, and, it, and it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing from a coaching standpoint. So the last nine days have been a bit of an ordeal for yeah. people on your neck of the woods. First, we had a uh, week from Thursday, the, the mass shooting. It was national news, oh, obviously. Terrible. Uh, terrible tragedy. Hours afterward, we have the, the, the fires that happened in your neck of the woods. People were affected. Did that play a role at all in terms of, were you concerned about a lack of focus? Or, you know, how'd you keep it together? How'd you, you guys all keep it together? You know, it's funny because I literally thought, I think I stressed more than they did. I didn't sleep very much. I kept talking to my wife who's an assistant coach and I said, Tanya, I, I just, I don't feel comfortable. I don't know if they're comfortable. I don't know if they feel right. So I think leaving Monday, and just getting like a peace of mind was good. We went back into town Tuesday. We actually had a workout with the whole, like the, all the teams in Mamani Lee got on a bus and we went to a location. But as, as good as that sound, it was real tough because I, I want my guys to focus on themselves only. And I felt like there was a lot of exterior distractions doing that. So I wasn't the biggest fan, although I, I, I understood the need with the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I got it. But Wednesday we got our park back. The air was clean, we got the okay from the AD to work out, and it felt amazing. And I think it was like one of those things is when you have a big scare in life or a big, and then all of a sudden it goes away, you, you're, you're better off. Mm -hmm. As soon as we got Wednesday back, we knew the fires were going away. I think these kids, you know, I think their mind got real, uh, get, got put to ease and, and it was able, they were able to focus because I was super worried about their focus, but I think I worried more than they did. And I think, you know, that says a lot about these kids. Nico Young, again, the course record, great right. performance right there. Yeah. Jason Esperner, big, big race. Yeah. Three in the top 10, five in the top 25. And the guys did the job today. Yeah. What's going to be the message going forward for them? You know, we have, uh, I don't know, we, we have a saying with my team, and uh, a lot of people don't get it. I always say that we, uh, we, don't, uh, we don't hear the music, we feel the music. We, uh, we, we feel things out as the week goes. I, I change things a lot on these guys, so I'm going to mull things over. And uh, I'm big on my pre my pre talks. You know, I, I get serious about those. I went to Adam State College, oh and which is Adam State University. <laughs> and I'll tell Jeez. you, you know, V Hill wasn't my coach, but Coach Martin was. Oh, and geez. I went on a recruiting trip there, and I realized how important 
a talk like that was before practice and and these guys know you know when, when we sit down before race it's serious um you know they put everything on the line and they do it in practice when i ask them to and we go to the well when we need to and i think we just need to keep things the same and you know we have a plan on monday and then you know like i i tell them trust trust the peaking trust the peaking please and they do um it was like when i was at adam state what we did there was unbelievable um i'm very fortunate that you know my background is post collegiate running i coached in college a little bit a lot of my friends are big coaches um, I can get on the phone with coaches that, I mean, Olympic medalist coaches, and I just, I ask for a lot of advice, and I'm not to admit when I do something wrong, I, I, I'm not scared to admit it, and um, these guys trust me, and uh, it's been an interesting three years for me with high school, but I love it, and these guys trust me. So. Outstanding. All right. So once again, great performance. I know talking to some of the Division Two coaches afterward in the division, some of the top coaches, they looked at the results and they basically said, we can't touch that. Yeah. So we'll see if you guys can keep it going for two more weeks. Great showing today. Yeah. Next week in Fresno should be another great show and they just put the work in. So best wishes, Sean Brosnan. Great job with Newberry Park. Yeah, thanks. Like I said, I, I think these other teams, um, the, we can't take them for granted. Uh, Loyola is good every year and Claremont, man, they're good every year and they're a pack. They know how to run. So. It'll be fun. Yeah, Thanks. Thank you.